Simply walking down the street is a challenge for Lee Ridley. He's lived with cerebral palsy since birth and is unable to speak. He uses a voice synthesizer to communicate. But Lee has learned to laugh in the face of adversity. And he's making other people chuckle along with him. He's taken to stand-up comedy, performing as Lost Voice Guy. And tonight's a big night. It's his first paid booking, and he's playing to a packed house in the British capital. Thank you for that lovely welcome. I haven't felt this important since the doctors said I was going to be a special child. <laughs> when I realized I'd never be able to talk again, I was speechless. <laughs> People have often asked me why I want to put myself in a position where everyone can stare and laugh at me. The truth is that it happens to me every day anyway. At least this way there's a scheduled time and place for it. Lee's off to a great start. The audience is loving his material. But at a vital moment, he's let down by the technology that provides a voice for his thoughts. A little improvised comedy sets him back on track. Sorry, ladies and gentlemen, my iPad has just crashed. Where the f*** is Steve Jobs when you need him? I am not related to Stephen Hawking in any way. However, I do hate the way people take the f*** of the way he speaks. I can really synthesize with him. <laughs> I hope you enjoy the rest of your night. Goodbye. Lee is delighted with his reception, but just as he thinks the night can't get any better, he receives praise from one of his heroes, Alan Pardew, the manager of his favourite football team, Newcastle United. Let's be honest, it takes incredible bravery to do what he's doing. More bravery than myself and any of my players show to do what he's trying to do. So. All I can say is I wish him all the best in a very, very tough business. Um, well, our business is tough, but his is tougher, so I wish him all the best. Next day, Lee stops by the CNN office to discuss last night's success. The act that you do and, and some of the, the other performances we saw last night uh, creates a bit of a dilemma for audiences, doesn't it? Because it would be offensive for, for people to laugh at somebody's disability. But you're kind of giving people permission to laugh along with you at your own disability. I've always believed that any subject can be joked about if handled correctly. I think I can get away with more because it's essentially about me. I'd like to think the audience go away with a more positive view on disability. Lee's friend and fellow comedian Nathan Wood persuaded him to try his hand at stand-up. Now he's helping him manage the flood of bookings he started to receive. Lost Voice Guy is fast becoming the talk of the town. Neil Curry, CNN, London.